This piece is going to feature the Udu drum. The Udu drum is an indigenous instrument from Nigeria. The Hausa and Igbo people from Zaria, Nigeria played this instrument. And this instrument is tied to the Capital District because there's a renowned artist by the name of Frank Giorgini who was a participant in a cultural exchange when a gentleman from Nigeria, his name is Abbas Ahuan, he's a Kaja master potter, and he was here in the early 70s doing a cultural exchange, and Frank happened to be a participant along with a lot of other individuals. But Frank took this instrument, and as an industrial artist, he looked at the form, and he just wanted to kind of come up with his own technique to sort of refine the art of it. And for my friends that may be potters or sculptors that use clay as a medium, I wanted to point out that this, it, this instrument is specifically created by slab and coil. So from the midsection of the bottom of the pot down, it's a slab, and they create it by taking clay and putting it on an old rock or an old drum and beating it down with a flat rock, uh, beating it down with a flat rock, excuse me, and that stretches the clay. And then once the clay is stretched over that rock or that old pot, they flip it over and it becomes a bowl. And then so from about this midpoint here, all the way up, no matter what the profile of the instrument is or the pot, um, that is created by coils. And the reason why I say either or is because they have one instrument in their, in their culture that is regarded as a drum. It's called a kim kim. Looks like a dumbbell. And traditionally, these have a tiered shape or a spherical shape with a stubby neck. This instrument here is unique. This is one of Frank's designs. It takes and borrows from both of those concepts. The bottom would be more of that tiered shape, and the top is a little bit more like the Kim Kim. And what that does for us musicians is it gives us a whole lot of characteristics. So in this piece that I affectionately call Udu clay play, you'll be able to hear all these beautiful textures on this instrument. Now, the one thing I want to point out is that this drum is actually an idiophone. There's no skin on this drum, so I'm going to be controlling the airflow through the, uh, the chamber, and all of this is interconnected. These are not completely separate, but this neck right here is actually open, so the air will flow between the two. And if you want to, look at your palm and just trace the center part of your palm. And that's how I'm going to control either sealing the hole or releasing the sound by pulling the air out of the drum. So, Udu Clay Play.